Turning your ideas into a successful online business can be hard, especially if you don't know where to start or where to continue in your business. But don't worry, I'll provide you with the proper tools to build a loyal clientele. <laughs> So while my water is getting hot, I am going to. So while my water is getting hot, so while my water is getting hot, I'm going to go ahead and put my clothes in a dryer um, to get some of the wrinkles out. These are um, scrubs. They're easier to wear than to just have to get a whole outfit because basically they're just gonna see my top up so scrubs is the easiest way for me to look professional and yeah i don't feel like earning so i need to get ready i only got what it's 7 47 and then got a clock in at eight i just i don't feel like doing extra stuff that's going to take more time so i'm going to go ahead and put these in a the dryer and then i'm going to add a dryer sheet yeah look at the plates my mommy gave me they're zebra plates with like black accessories they real cute let me know what y'all think because i don't i don't know it just adds a a homey feel to my apartment but i don't know if this is gonna be my color scheme personally i feel like it clashes with the granite countertops but it's still cute though so i don't know y'all tell me okay you guys so i put my clothes on for my schedule today, I have three phone interviews. Essential water is my favorite. In case you didn't know. I have three phone interviews and then at the end of the day, I have a two week checkup with HR. They are just checking on me to see how your girl is doing. Let me know if y'all want like um, natural hair videos. Cause I've been thinking about adding some more content to my YouTube channel. So if y'all want natural hair videos, let me know. Maybe I could work with some companies. Anywho, um, I also have a video up sharing my natural hair journey, so I'm going to put that in a card on the screen, but yeah, I wanted to bring some more, you know, content on the channel so you all can get to know me as me, not just as a person who knows <clears throat> excuse me who knows a lot about business but to actually get to know me i am this is like my little routine that i do to get my hair flat i have very very thick thick hair as you can see honey this brush is struggling right now As a recruiter, what I do is I basically interview candidates for positions that they apply to. They've already applied to the position that I'm interviewing them for. So the people that I talk with, they actually want the job. It's not like I'm trying to get them to apply. And then I phone screen them make sure they meet the minimum requirements and if they do good on their interview I send them to the hiring manager okay so my makeup is done I'm just gonna put some clear lip gloss on my lips but 
yeah, I just put my hair in a bun in the back. Period. Y'all see my little tan line from my mask? Tragic. Yes, your girl is ready. I'm ready to work. Let's get right to it. Transparency moment. This is my little office space, and then this is my bed. I have to get my real bed. Um, I haven't got it yet, so. Um, I also need to get furniture. We are gonna get that slowly but surely. I'm also gonna do an empty apartment tour before I get um, my furniture and stuff. I don't need a lot of stuff, probably like a couch, rug, mirror, um, bookshelf. I don't really watch TV, so. So for breakfast, I usually have oatmeal, but this morning I'm gonna warm up some Hot Pockets, what? What am I talking about? Some Pop-Tarts and um, get some mini Maid juice. My favorite Pop-Tarts, if you did not know, cinnamon and Pop-Tart. I just want to get them warm, not hot, so. So first thing that I do is get my little notebook that I write all my notes and stuff in. And get my sticky notes. Sticky notes are important. And I cleanse myself so I don't have any bad energy communicating with people or bringing on bad energy from other places and i just like to cleanse myself i have a call at 10 30 but it's like a new call um my manager is about to call me and i'm gonna listen in on the call because i'm still in training okay okay all right okay let me put that in my notes Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Quick bathroom break. I will be back. So, right now I'm about to start cold calling some of my candidates that I've tried to reach out to and I haven't received a reply for them. So, I'm either going to schedule them for a phone screen or um leave a voicemail so let's get right to this cold calling period hello is this, this is jamiqua calling on behalf of is this something you're still interested in we're updating him in the system is that role something you're still interested in come again Okay, that's fine. Thank you for letting me know. Have a good day. Okay, so I went through a few of my candidates. I got three more candidates to call, but I'm gonna take a little break because I need to film some Instagram content for today. And it's just a quick video that I'm going to be putting on my Instagram to um, direct people to a YouTube video, so a helpful YouTube video. So if you all don't know, I am also a business coach and I have my own business, JLS Diamond Boutique. And yeah, so um, I have it posted on my Instagram in a little minute. So, so I'm just gonna put up some content for today. Um, also, if you haven't followed me, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, YouTube, 
TikTok, all that good stuff. It's Jamiqua Stevens, so. Did you know that you can order free tracking labels from USPS? I like to use these free tracking labels so that my customer can get a live update of their package from start to finish. These tracking labels come in handy if you are fulfilling orders manually rather than using PayPal to create a shipping label. I also created a video on my YouTube channel showing you step-by-step -step how to order these free tracking labels that will come straight to your door. So go ahead and click that title and click on the link so you can watch how you can order your free tracking labels today. So I am now about to clock out for lunch. So let me go do that. Today we are having shrimp pasta with some um, Haagen-Dazs ice cream for dessert. So we're going to be back at 124. Let's go to the cafeteria. Short lunch line today. What I like to do, I like to meal prep. So all of my... Meals for this week are already cooked. We have some um, shrimp pasta with some Texas toast. That's pretty much what I do for lunchtime. I've already recorded my video that I'm gonna upload on my Instagram. It's basically a video um, of me um, telling people that I created a video on my YouTube channel on how to get free USPS tracking labels. I'm definitely gonna use this time wisely. For my lunch break, I'm gonna eat and, excuse me, upload that video to my Instagram. Okay, you guys, I have clocked out for the day. Now it's time for me to focus on my business. Um, I uploaded an Instagram video for my personal page. Now I need to upload a video for my business page. Excuse me. I don't think the problem is that you can't find vendors. I think the problem is you all may not know how to approach them and ask them questions to figure out if they are reliable vendors. I know if you have a seller's permit, you get discounts on bulk items. Usually vendors can be contacted through email or WhatsApp. I use both. Once I get to know the vendor, I'll start messaging them on WhatsApp because they can start calling me on WhatsApp, giving me tours of their factories, showing me products that they sell. You want to have a partnership with your vendor. This is not just a one-time transaction. And I also want to do a TikTok.